heard you finally found the guy who's been up the dancers at Vaughn's. Yeah. Okay, well, no offense, but you sure you got the right guys this time? Okay. Not enough to hold him. One of the girls ID him? I, I can't go into the details right now. All I can say is that we have compelling evidence. Okay, so what's wrong? I can't place this guy at the scene of any of the attacks. Okay, are you sure you got the right guy then? I mean, are, you, are there no more suspects or what? No, there are no other suspects. I know how much this case means to you. And I promise you, if this guy is guilty, he will pay for what he did. Yeah, they're Abby's friends, you know, she wanted justice for him. Look, if there's solid evidence against this guy, I just don't understand why you're questioning him. We had evidence against Sonny, too. Everything we had pointed to him as causing that accident that killed that young father and his kid. Yeah, but Dad was innocent. That's the point. The system isn't perfect. Sit down. Evidence is subject to interpretation. As much as it hurts me to say this, sometimes cops get it wrong. You never wanted to believe that Dad was guilty? No, as a son, I wanted him to be innocent. As a cop, I had to follow the evidence. Look, Sonny didn't cause that accident, but he did everything that led up to it. He was armed and dangerous. He would have used that gun on Johnny if your mother and I hadn't stopped him. Now, something's changed, though. What do you mean? I don't know, the way you talk about Dad, he used to be angry at him, like you wanted to always throw him behind bars, but now you're... Not easier with him, I guess. Sonny saved my life. Left a big impression. But I mean, it doesn't mean I'm gonna turn a blind eye to everything else. Like what? Whatever he does next. I mean to ask you about the, the day the verdict came back. What about it? It kind of surprised me that you were sitting over on the prosecution side. Yeah. Look, I, I just I just I didn't want Star to be alone when she heard the verdict. That's all. All right, I guess my real question is, how close have you gotten with Star Manning? I'm obligated to Star because she asked you to save her boyfriend and her child from that car. No, I don't, I don't feel obligated, you know, it's just... She's been through hell, okay, and I just wanted to help her out. Michael, you, you have to understand that you, you couldn't do anything to save Thorn Hart and his child. I was there, you, you, you did everything humanly possible. Yeah, I know. You know, blaming yourself for something you didn't do is a form of narcissism. It's not, I don't blame myself. It's just... Look, I have an idea of what Star went through, you know, and what she's going through right now. There's nothing anybody can say to make her feel better, so I, I, I didn't even try to. So she just felt comfortable with me. Okay. Still must have been a little awkward considering she thinks this Sonny caused the accident. Yeah, her dad's on trial for murder also. The difference is... She thinks he did it. I knew Dad is innocent. Look, it'll help start out a lot if you can find the person who really did cause that accident. Well, it's an open case, Michael. I mean, we are investigating. Well, let me know if you find anything on Johnny. What makes you so sure it's Johnny? I thought you liked the guy. Well, yeah, he's a decent guy, I guess, but I mean, he had the strongest motive. Yeah, well, we'll see. Look, if Johnny did frame my dad, you're gonna have to nail him quick before my mom gets in too deep with the guy. I saw you uh, in the courtroom. Everything okay? Uh, yes. Star was pretty upset, though. I tried talking her down, but she just took off. I don't know if she went back to Landview or LA. I well, I was asking about you. Are you okay with the verdict? Yeah, the jury got it right. Dad was innocent. Well, you didn't always think so. Well, it helped when you said that dad wouldn't be able to hide something like that. If he caused the death of that girl and her father, you'd be able to see it in his eyes. And I think I would have been able to see it too. So. Yeah, so do I. Yeah. Me and my dad don't always get along, but we've always had a connection. I should never doubted that. Well, you're going to know about that soon, right? The whole father, son, bond. Hey, Sam. Hey. Wow, you look great. Oh, <laughs> you don't have to sound so surprised. Uh, no, I meant you're... He, he meant that you're glowing. Oh. And you are, because yeah. that's what happens to pregnant women. You're more beautiful than you've ever been, and Michael is a very perceptive young man to notice that. Excuse me. So are you as tired of all the baby talk as Jason is? Well, uh, we have different 
ways of dealing with things. Well, you've both been through a lot, you know? All the craziness of Franco, and you worried about him being sick, and... I'm sorry, I shouldn't no. be bringing that up again. It's, it's, it's okay. It's actually nice to talk to someone who understands. Franco's gone, and Jason's better, so now you can put all that bad stuff behind you. Yeah, I hope so. I, I guess what I'm trying to say is I'm just happy for the both of you. you know, after everything you went through, now you can finally start a new chapter in your lives. Uh, 